Hello, my name's Ree, if I haven't met you before. Welcome to a new video and today we're going to have a little browse around my local range store. They've got loads of lovely autumnal things in and I'm going to take you with me and I have bought one or two small things that I want to share with you. So I hope you enjoy this video. See you in a minute. So I want to say a really heartfelt thank you for those of you that have written such lovely kind messages about um, the operation that I had and my recovery and the cells. Those of you that have sent well wishes, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Um, I just want to say as always, thank you very much to my loyal subscribers, those of you that watch regularly. You know, I do really appreciate your thumbs up, your likes, your comments and yeah, my love to you. If you're new here or if you haven't subscribed yet and you find you're watching my videos, you know, you're drawn towards my videos, then please do consider subscribing, you know, press the button below and the bell icon and you'll be notified when a new video comes out. So hope you enjoy this one. So right by the door, they have a whole selection of beautiful autumnal goods and items lovely little pumpkins look at these they're all velvety and soft and 6.99 not a bad price these are little candles and they had them in all sorts of colors little sort of pumpkin color black ones gray ones it'd be nice to have a little selection and i think probably they'll reduce those as time goes on so look at these, all these different candle holders and they had some wreaths there. Just really beautiful. This was one of my favourites, these little mugs, especially the one on the right. And they've got pumpkin spice latte, but look at the handle. Just love it. These are the selection of Halloween things that they had. So they've got costumes, little bits and pieces, you know, bags, um, different ornaments. Yeah, really good selection. I like these little black and white Harlequin ones. Not quite sure what they are. But it looks really pretty. Just another decoration, I guess. So this is in the normal area. And I just thought they've got some really lovely things that you could use as table centerpieces and, you know, put various bits on them. They've got a good selection of trays and baskets. This was nice, this toadstool. I'm not sure what for, but I was drawn to it. I love a basket. I just think a basket's really good. You can organize yourself. So these are some reed diffusers and they had this lovely little pumpkin candle with a lid, which I'm sure you could use again after you'd used the candle. It's really nice, just really pretty, nice colors. Yeah, so here are a few of the baskets, clocks, ornaments. They've got a variety of homeware. So these are some little dried flowers or corn centerpieces. And they had this little selection of autumnal things. Oh dear, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. They're pretty though, aren't they? I don't think I could see the price on those, but really pretty. And they've got some more candles here. These are little ghosts, little ghost candles. Quite cute. This is a dry flowers section, fake flowers or faux flowers. Oh, look at these, 129, that's lovely, isn't it? Make a really nice little decoration. Different wreaths and things. 
Oh, we're in the cozy section now. They've got such a lovely selection of, you know, throws. I'm drawn to the really soft fur ones and I like them in a neutral colour. But they had all sorts. They've got navy, they've got forest green, they've got pink. This is quite a nice one, isn't it? The brown one, the checked. It's really pretty. Yeah, these are nice to keep throwing the sofa, aren't they? Or even at the end of the bed, to sort of pull up. For me, it's all about the texture. And they had some of these, um, they're called teddy bear duvet covers, which I think look absolutely beautiful, but it'd be too hot for me. I wouldn't be able to manage with that. I like the thought of them, especially that check one, but not for me. This is nice. I'm drawn to this colour as well. Sort of bronzy. And it's, it looks, it's a bit like a boucle. They did have loads of Christmas stuff there as well. I avoided filming that. I'm not ready for it yet. Just too early. But anyone who wants to get stuff in advance, yeah, they've got a lot in the shops. This is cute, look. This little duvet set autumnal duvet set and they had it in singles doubles i think it started from 10.99 for the single look at the selection that they've got and we're on to the chocolates i didn't realize what good selection they had look at that fries collection and little mini turkish delights love turkish delight they had lots of sweets that you could use to give away for trick-or-treating and they had different sort of Halloween themed sweets. This looks absolutely delicious. I'm a fan of Cabris, I love it. And it's got all these different flavours in. There we go, we've got some, you know, gummy body parts. And I think there were some skeleton sweets, all sorts. And and the bigger packets, you know, with the individual sweets. Um, we don't have any trick-or-treaters at our house. We live in a bungalow in a little cul-de-sac. So there's loads of lovely things there. I mean, they have got a lot of Christmas stock as well. I just didn't want to look at it and film it. It's just way too early for me. I, I think you can pick too soon. I know some people like to buy well in advance and, and I will definitely buy start buying Christmas things in November. But no, no, it's too much. Anyway, I've only got a couple of things that I bought. This, how to buy that? How could I leave that behind? I'm sure Cadbury's did something similar to this when I was a young girl. I, I seem to vaguely remember that they did a chocolate bar with different flavours in. So, I mean, by the looks of it, it looks like sort of a caramel centre, a strawberry fondant, um, maybe a Turkish delight. So that's going to be delicious. I'm going to have a cup of tea after this video and have a couple of pieces and then I'll put it in the fridge and have some more tomorrow. I'll try not to eat it all at once. I'll probably make me a bit sick, but nice. Do you have a favourite childhood or a favourite chocolate bar? No, I mean, I have always liked Cabras. I was really disappointed. Normally I'll go for the dairy milk and they changed the formula, didn't they, quite a while ago. Were they taken over by another company and they changed the recipe for the chocolate and I thought, oh, it's too sweet, I don't like it. But I do, I got used to it. But it is my favourite. Generally, I won't buy a lot of Cabris only because I find it hard to resist. If there's any other chocolate, I can just take a few pieces or a small bar on the whole, um, you know most days but when there's cabras it will call to me this will be all right though because it's a little bit different and i will put it in the fridge so that it'll be out of sight for now <laughs> and the other thing i got was this i think this was about a pound it wasn't very much and it's a little gel cooling eye mask and it says it's really good if you've got puffy eyes or tired eyes and as you know or 
some of you will know that I've got surface eye so my eyes do get quite dry and I have to you know protect them at all times so I, I'll, whatever the weather in the winter I have to wear glasses with U, UV protection and I have to put drops in twice a day so I just thought apparently you put it in the fridge so it's nice and cold and then you relax and put it on your eyes so I thought I'll give it a try it's washable so yeah see how I get on um I didn't buy any of the autumnal decorations I'm really drawn to them especially like the little pumpkins and the pumpkin candles but I thought well do you know what I've got plenty of candles at the moment I've still got you know a pumpkin spice one I'm looking at it now that's still going so I don't need any more and I just didn't want to spend my money where I don't need to so anyway if you're still here to the end Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Okay, take care. Bye.